We're back to the beginning of the game. No, just kidding, we're not. Hello there, everybody! This is Seawalt the Plan One here, and welcome to the bonus episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This bonus video is indeed going to be covering the mask that we got in the last video, which is the Fierce Deities Mask. Wear it with C. Its dark power can only be used in boss rooms. So, exactly as as the description said, the Fierce Deities Mask can only be used in boss rooms. So, to show it, we are going to have to go to each of the bosses once again and kick their asses, this time with Fierce Deity Link with Fierce Deity by our side. So, in going with tradition, we are going to go to Woodfall first. Of course, pretty much just like every freaking LP that does this, that covers Fierce Deity. Because... Why? <laughs> yeah, I don't really get it either, but yeah. Um, this bonus video will also be covering some things that I probably should have take, probably should have mentioned. Which is the very fact that this game goes into way more deep than than I should have guessed because there's still a lot more to this game than I realize. Seriously, like one of the things from the top of my head that I can think of right now is um, Gorman actually playing cards with the uh, guys who juggle. Um, since we saw them before at the Stockpot Inn, when we do the sound check at uh, the uh, uh, milk bar. And why do I keep on doing... Seriously, why do I keep on doing that? That... That is so weird. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, here we are at Woodfall Temple once again, and we must go to the boss. Truly, we must go to the boss. Now... Now that we're in the boss room, let's see. This is Fierce Deity Link. This is our adult Link for the game. <laughs> yeah. And also, this brings up a little bit of a fact, is that um, this game originally wanted you to uh, switch between adult and young Link, just like an ocarina at a time, but they scrapped it. Apparently. And you'll notice that Fierce Deity Link also has Adult Link's voice, as you heard, like this. Yeah. And mostly they're like reused clips, but but um, apparently the voice actor for Adult Link also um, did something. But either way, um, when you're locked onto enemies, you can press B to swing your sword to do the sword beams just like in Zelda 1, and BAM! All it freaking took was four sword beams from this thing, and bam, Adawa is dead. Yeah. You can also move around faster with it, too, so... Yeah. So, onward, my friends, to the next boss. Alright, now for the most beaten boss ever in the history of mankind in my LP. Seriously, I... Seriously, I... <clears throat> I didn't expect to fight Goat so goddamn much in this... In this LP, my god. <laughs> it's actually kind of sad, but at the same time, it's... Jeez. Anyway, yeah, let's see Fierce Deity Link just, like, freaking get run over by this thing. Let's see. <laughs> it should be kind of hilarious. The almighty fierce deity link falls to this guy, and we can see his sword. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. But the way to fear to beat fear, to beat a goat this way is by not going as him. You have to go the normal way. You unfortunately though have to go the normal way. Which is, in case you don't remember, we have to roll into him and stun him. So, when we stun him like... like... Come on. I know you want to get stunned, man. Ow. Here's Electro Ball on me! You can't do that! And, come on. Okay, I'll just cut ahead to when we stun him. 
Okay, when you stun him like that, basically just wail on him with the fierce deity sword. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just knock his block off. Knock his block off. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Yeah. This is how utterly... F this is how fierce de deity link utterly breaks bosses. It just breaks them so hard. And you know what? The interesting thing is that Fierce Deity Link, the Fierce Deity's Mask was actually a last minute development thing. Yeah, they put the Fierce Deity's Mask as a last sort of result in development. In fact, the Fierce Deity's Mask has has a lot of interesting things about it, like like basically like I said before, pretty much Adult Link was planned to be in this game. But the idea but the idea was scrapped and the Fierce Deity was put in at the last minute. So, um, there was also a kind of thing where a uh, Fierce Deity Link could also use the Ocarina if somehow you could hack into the game and use Fierce Deity outside of boss, outside of, uh, boss fights. And, um, and you could use the Ocarina. Um, Fierce Deity Link would be holding up the Ocarina like he would in Ocarina of Time as Adult Link. So... Yeah, a lot of interesting things, though, considering the f considering the Fairy Ocarina was originally meant to be in the game. More beta infos! <laughs> Yay! I actually know things about beta stuffs. Oh yeah, and also while we're going to Georg here, um, I should also men I should also mention something that's actually quite interesting. Majora's Mask also has a manga adaptation. Yes, it has a manga adaptation, where Link is suddenly now a spoken hero, and he has to go from Hy from Hyrule to Termina to do the usual stuff. I will say though, even though it's basically non-canon, I find the manga to be actually quite interesting, really, because when Link goes first goes into like Clock Town, um, he's he's still the Deku, yeah, and of course he still has to get his ocarina back and use the Song of Time. But he actually meets Anju in that time when he's a Deku, so... Yeah. And that's also another interesting thing about the Andrew and Cafe thing. They still have the element of Andrew and Cafe in the game. It's just some... It's just that they don't... They don't do the whole Andrew and Cafe side quest through the manga stuff. And they actually reunite on top of the clock tower when the moon... When the moon is about to fall. Which is actually more dramatic that way. I like it. But unfortunately though, that also means Ikana Cannon was was kinda sorta skipped over because why? <laughs> because Viz kids Viz kids apparently don't want people to like Oh Ikana Canyon's the land of the dead and we don't want you we don't want hearts to be broken by that or hearts we don't want that heartwarming moment when Pamela and her dad are reunited. <laughs> Anyways, Georg with the fierce deity. Very, very easy, and I like the way Fierce Deity Link back goes backwards. He's like, boop, 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 boop. Now, of course, we have to wait until he gets out further. Okay, there we go. We can shoot sword beams through the floor. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah. But I actually, I actually do have the manga, and it, and the Majora's Mask manga is actually very interesting. Like I said before, and Link actually uses Fierce Deity Link in order to defeat Majora there, so. And one last thing about the manga is that it actually does have, it actually does have, even though it's non-canon, a very interesting backstory about, like, Fierce Deity or, like, Majora or something. I can't really remember from the top of my head. I, I do have it, but, I do have the manga, but I just don't read it that often. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I could do Twin Mold, but unfortunately, due to the unpredictable nature of Twin Mold, plus the fact that it's very hard to hit with with Fierce Deity Sword Beams, I'm not really going to be tackling Twin Mold as Fierce Deity Link, so... Yeah. Now I must do the waiting game, and... And, of course, I have to wait until midnight to on the final day in order to face off against Majora and go to the moon. Which is a very awesome game, by the way, so... Anyway... I'll meet you guys... 
at the clock tower. And by the way, um, off screen during that time, I'll also be going to the milk bar in order to get Chateau Romani because Fierce DD Link's sword beams cost magic. So, yeah. Anyway, see you guys at midnight on the final day when we take on Skull Kid and the moon of the world. Okay. Apparently I played this long a time. That's what we need to call the giants, guys. Right? Right? No? Apparently I forgot how to play the ult to order. <laughs> Okay, so here we get a bit of a different scene from before. And by that, I mean the scene is exactly the same, however, the dialogue is a bit different. Well, now you should be awake. Stand up! Wait, sis, the Skull Kid. Don't blame him! Yeah, yeah, I know. The Skull Kid was lonely because no one would be his friend, blah blah blah. And the power of the mask made him do it because, he was, because it was too much for him to handle. How? How did you know that, sis? Yeah, seriously, how the heck did that even know? How the heck did Tattle even know? Did Link eventually, like, get back to Termina because he failed to search for Navi or something? I don't know. But either way, the moon is gonna do its usual bit. That creepy-ass mouth, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I will admit, even though, as a kid, I thought the moon was silly and everything, but... But, when we had that shot with the moon being all like that, holy shit, was its mouth weird. <laughs> Jeez, it's creepy. Don't worry, just leave it to your sister. Okay, so here's some new dialogue. Well, you're going in, aren't you? Yeah, I am. We can't do anything down here. Let's go. I've been thinking this ever since I joined you. You never want to get up, give up. You always want to try. I admire you. Aw, that's, that's nice. After all the shit we've been put through, she's finally nice to us. I will admit, that is a nice touch. But finally, here we is on the moon once again. Very, very nice paradise indeed. And I hate to steal from Tim here, but I would definitely, definitely sleep here. But either way, let's go over to Majora. Remember, like I said before, you don't have to talk to every kid. You only have to talk to Majora. Will you play with me? Yeah. You only have weak masks. You have only weak masks. So, you'll play? Yeah. Well, shall we go? Okay, so since since Majora didn't count on you to use the Fierce Deity's mask against him, you can now use any of your other transformation masks as well. So, let's transform. And now we're actually going into this with full health. Alright everybody, Fierce DD Link versus Majora's Mask. Press B, and then you go to die. Boosh! Haha! -ha. See, one shot from the Fierce DD will cause all the remains to go immediately. It's just that game breaking. And actually quite a bit of popular theory is this. Majora basically gave us Fierce DD gave us Fierce DD's mask. Because he wanted to play, he, or he, she, it. Majora's Mask wanted to play good guys against bad guys against us. We all know Majora's Mask is evil because its magic was too powerful, so it got sealed away. So Fierce Deity, so the Fierce Deity might might have been the only one who was able to combat Majora of some sort. Either that, or the Fierce Deity could be the real bad guy. I don't know. <laughs> but Link is apparently using it for good, so. It's a good guy. So now we get Maj so now we get Majora's incarnation once again. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Thank God I'm de dealing with this quickly. <laughs> hey, 
And also, another thing that I noticed is that during the fight with Majora's Mask, um, Majora goes through these, uh, like, three stages. Like, like, Majora's Mask being the baby and all. Um, Majora's Incarnation being, being a hyperactive kid who's, like, running around all over the place doing all these weird dances and whatnot. It's still creepy as hell, mind you, but... Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. And finally, Majora's Wrath is... the worst of them all. A teenager! Okay. Okay. Not all teens are bad. But either way, I will, I will give Majora's Wrath a fair fight. Nope. Or not. Die. Die. <laughs> okay. So yeah, she's like, she's like jumping all over the place like some weird guy. And she's doing all that. Um, you can also guard while running too with the Fierce Deity, which is pretty cool. I always like that. It's in the- OW! Ow. And behold, you just saw a, a new voice clip from Adult Link, which is not just, yeah, 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 or something like that, I don't know. I can't do a good impression. Ow. And yeah, that's just like I said in the last video, Major the Majora fight can get kind of annoying, but there's no way in hell you could possibly die to this guy. Alright. Yeah! Die! And that is the end of Majora's Mask once again. See how utterly game-breaking this mask can be? Try it for yourself and beat all the bosses with it. So either way, guys, that's the end of the LP. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, everybody, who subscribed because of it. And I'll see you guys later for Let's Play I'm Not Sure.